Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and today we're going to talk about, well, Horus Heresy, but in relation to Warhammer the Old World. You see, we finally had all the big Warhammer the Horus Heresy reveals today. Well, a lot of stuff got leaked, but that's neither here or there. And I feel that everything that's been showcased can more or less pinpoint how we're going to see reveals for Warhammer the Old World in the future. And I want to talk about it because, remember, they did say that Old World would be to Age of Sigma like Horus Heresy is to 40k. So yeah, you can see why I'm making this video. So first up, we've got some news regarding a Horus Heresy starter box, which I think is very important to talk about. We're getting a lot of units, but they're very centric on, well, Space Marines, but this is expected for the Horus Heresy. But what we do know is that it is a big box. There are loads of miniatures in there. So pretty much for an army, you can split it with friends. However, they did say you don't have to split if you don't want to. And it's going to be a decent price, which is shocking. Keep in mind, this is Games Workshop, so yeah, it's going to cost less than £200, they say, which to me is a big thing. Keep in mind that Warhammer is a pretty expensive hobby, but it looks like when they release a new wave of a specialist game, they want to make it a little bit cheap so people can gump in. Yes, I know it's still expensive, but for the amount of miniatures that we're getting for Horus Heresy, I imagine that we'd get a big starter box like that when it comes to Old World, whether this is, say, for example, Empire versus Orcs, or anything else, because there have been a few rumors, or just Empire versus Empire, because keep in mind that the Empire is in the middle of a civil war during this time. It has a lot of potential. Now, I would think that Empire versus Empire would make sense, because they're probably going to do lines and go from there. Remember, we're going into the Age of Free Emperors, so during the Civil War, it could be that the box, you could decide, well, I'm going to split it with a friend, or you can just keep the box for yourself and make a full army, which kind of makes sense. It kind of reminds me of the old school army boxes, not the battalion boxes, but the army boxes. Like, even the Horus Heresy gives me army box feel rather than just a standard kit that you can split with friends. Next, what is really exciting to me is what else comes with the box. So, we're going to talk about this quite heavily. First, we've got the rule book, and the rule book will be available without the box too, but this is a big thing. The rule book is said to be over, what, 300 pages? Which is massive, and yes, a lot of people will be like, oh, that's too big, but that is kind of like Warhammer Fantasy, which had big rule books, so we're keeping the identity the same, and that's a great thing. That's further pushed out by the fact that there's a scatter dice there. You've got the whole measuring rulers, which is just classic. Templates. A lot of people thought, oh god, they're just going to push Horus Heresy to be more like 40k, and rather than a specialist game, it will be more, like, current stuff. But it looks like they're going to keep a lot of the old framework. Now, we do have to wait, because apparently they said that next week or so, or, yeah, around next week, we're going to start seeing rules, which will further cement this. But this is great, because a lot of us were kind of worried, and I know a lot of people were worried for Old World, going, oh, they're just going to bring it more in line with everything that's current. Now, I was always expecting Warhammer Fantasy just modernized a little bit, just to make it a little bit better. But I was still expecting artillery dice, scatter dice, templates, and it looks like we're going to get that. Mainly because if they're going to do this with Horus Heresy, sorry I had to cut there because my cat decided to swan dive right onto my face, then we are expecting this for Old World. This is very good. A big, big rule book, which makes me very, very excited. Then we'll look towards the army books, essentially. These are very reminiscent of the black books, and it's something which is pretty cool. So we've got one for the loyalists, and obviously one for the heretics. This is something which is good for us as Warhammer Fantasy fans, because it's kind of like the indexes, right? So we aren't expecting army books for every faction coming out at the very beginning, but they did say that they want us to use our old miniatures too, so why not a book like this, where we can go order, neutral, destruction, and on death. Also, I forgot about Chaos. So, maybe five books, maybe they decide to actually just do Order and Destruction together, Neutral, Undeath, and Chaos in another one. It depends on how they want to go about it, but these look like big, chunky books. They didn't show us pretty much anything about it, but I'm quite excited because, well, they look big. At least the image makes them look big. So just imagine day one of Old World launch having access to the rules for all your old armies, which I think is really important so everyone can play. Yes, the law is going to be very centralized around the Empire, but we know we've been getting hints for everything else. There's new factions, and we're going to talk about them later, but I honestly think that would be really cool. Imagine all the army books that we had for 8th edition being playable day one, just 
to be able to enjoy a game. Not everyone played Empire. Empire was more of the starter faction for most, but a lot of people want to play Orcs, Skaven, Chaos, High Elves, Dark Elves, you know? All of which have been pretty much already hinted. I'm not saying new model launches at the start, maybe just for Empire, because it makes sense, but just being able to use your old minis. Now, we're not going to talk about new minis because it was already confirmed a long time ago that we're getting new minis. However, some older miniatures have been repackaged. This is pretty good. This is the other Mark, so Mark 3 and Mark 4 armor. And why this is important is because, well, if they're willing to repackage stuff, especially older stuff, this is good, especially for, say, factions that might need some stuff being brought back, at least until new miniatures come out. So, say, for example, Tomb Kings, Bretonia, all the elves. We know those casts exist because, you know, it's just one of those things. GW are pack rats, like most of us. So why not have a few of them returning just to be able to allow people to be able to, you know, build up some armies to start off with. The Vampire Counts are a good example because most of their stuff has been changed and it doesn't rank up too well now. But not only that, but the Empire, which we're expecting new miniatures, just not a complete line at the beginning, well, all their Warhammer Fantasy miniatures are eventually going to leave depending what happens with this whole case of what's going on with the Cities of Sigmar. Maybe those Cities of Sigmar miniatures are going to be what's going to be used but um, we have to wait for confirmation. So if the Cities of Sigmar stuff is radically different and doesn't fit with the theme, well, then why not, you know, bring back the older cast until the newer stuff comes out? Because we know those casts definitely work. Lastly, we're going to talk about not necessarily new factions, as we already know we're getting Kislev and Cafe, and we shouldn't really expect them at the very beginning, but more so cross-compatibility. So, What's been a really big info drop here is the fact that we are now aware that in the Horus Heresy we'll be able to play as the Adeptus Custodes, we'll be able to play as the Admech, so Adeptus Mechanicus, and we'll also be able to play as Knightly Orders. This is either Heretic or Loyalist, depending on what you prefer. And this is really curious, because I don't really think that we're going to get completely new miniatures there, as really a lot of the stuff, like the Knightly Orders, that's ancient tech. The same thing with the Admech, really. And, well, yeah, I guess even so for the uh, Custodes. It could be that the 40k models will be used in 30k in cross-compatibility, and that is something which is really exciting, mainly because there is a lot of potential of Age of Sigmar miniatures which fit with the theme, Keep in mind that, once again, it has to fit with the theme to be playable in Warhammer the Old World. I'm talking about, say, for example, the Poscoil Blight Lords, because, well, you know, they're basically just Chaos Warriors of Nurgle on Rotflies. Or, say, for example, the Blood Reavers or Blood Warriors for Corn to give you a more stylized, unique-looking Cornet Warband, rather than, say, for example, well, you know, just Chaos Warriors painted in red. Funny enough, they also do kind of rank up, which is pretty cool, and, well, you know, I've always expected that there's going to be a bit of a base increase, so maybe 25 mils that was standard for the Chaos Warriors, up to 30 millimeters, because it kind of makes sense. There's also the fact that all the Horus Heresy stuff is getting size creeped up a little bit, and yes, you know, Age of Sigmar stuff has been size creeped, and it does make sense for Old World to have a small size creep too. It looks very promising. Obviously, I could be wrong here, but if they're doing it for Horus Heresy, they're definitely going to do this for Old World. At least that's my reasoning, and it would be very, very interesting just to see how things would work. You could bring a bunch of the Chaos stuff into, say, for example, Old World, or the new Imperial stuff, well, the new Cities of Sigmar stuff, which we're expecting, which we've seen some stuff, well, just like little bits and bobs here, as New Empire. Specifically that of Sigmarites, because, once again, there's a heavy Sigmar focus in Old World due to the fact that there's a bit of a civil war, well, it's a massive civil war going on, and the churches are involved too. Look, I could be wrong, but... We're gonna have to wait and see. I'm still kind of hopeful. Look, the reveals for Horus Heresy were amazing. I'm expecting something big eventually when Old World gets announced. Possibly and hopefully before I die of old age. Please. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below and let's start a bit of a discussion.